we need to know the people who has given you this book. Were they truthful? Were they man of integrity? And did they have a good memory? And you can add whether they were inspired by God or not. I argue from the evidence itself that the book demonstrates, at least as I started with Matthew, that Matthew is not a man that you can trust and rely on. Matthew says in this chapter 1, thus there are all 14 generations in all, from Abraham to David, from David to the exile to Babylon, and from them to Jesus the Messiah. So Matthew says there are all 14 generations, 14, 14 and 14, that's 42 generations. These are generations of the old, right? So when he talks about Abraham and David, they are people who lived within the Israelite tradition as narrated by the, the Israelite people, right? The Jewish people. Yes. We find their genealogies already documented in their literature. So what has happened is this. If you were to tabulate these names, you will never come to 42. You will miss by one. Matthew has taken away the name between Josiah and Jeconiah. That name is Jehoiakim. If you read 1 Chronicles chapter 3, you will see that. Josiah has several sons. One of them is Jehoiakim, who has children called Jeconiah and their brothers. So he's omitted the name of Jehoiakim. Now, printing mistake. No, it's not printing a mistake. It's a deliberate. Let him, let me, yeah, it's a, well, it's a deliberate. Allow me, allow me. It's a deliberately taken away for a reason. Why? Because Matthew wants to make Jesus to be the son of David. In the Old Testament, in Jeremiah, I can give you the reference. It says that God cursed Jehoiakim and his progeny that none of them will have any right to sit on the throne of David. So imagine now, you are Jesus who is claimed to be the son of David, to sit on the throne of David. So you have to have a genealogy in which there should be no man who is cursed and removed from sitting on the throne of David. So if you came from a line of people all the way to Abraham, and in this line, you had someone called Jehoiakim, who was cursed by God saying, you have no business whatsoever to sit on the throne of David from your line. So Matthew took that person away as if people will not realize. So if you say, how can you trust him? If you say God take now this lineage or curse this lineage, yes. why, would, why would he mention it in the New Testament? He doesn't mention it. That's why Jehoiakim has been removed by the writer. Yeah, probably that's why he removed him because... The, you can't just remove him, my friend, because he existed in the line. Yeah, the, the, the line that's been given by the writer, you can't take him away and say, oh, you know what, imagine your father's name is... No, what? no, God, oh, wait, 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 wait. God, God taking what? him out. One moment. What's your father's name? No, it doesn't really matter. Say, my father's name is X. Yeah. And you say, no, my father's name is Y. You can't do that. So, you have to keep your father's name as the father's name. You can't call your uncle your father, can you? So or your what, brother so your father. What, what has What's an the impact? Point? What's the my point, point is simple. That the, Bible is the wrong. Matthew, Matthew, the author of the gospel, is not trustworthy or reliable Why? because he is shown to be lying, making mistakes and distorting history. Maybe he's done it. Would you trust a person for your eternal life exactly in hellfire or heaven on a person, on a person who lies?